Come on in. Y'all didn't turn your clocks back right forward, right? Y'all didn't turn your clocks forward, right? I told Kathy, I said, we'll ask people come in about an hour later. Right? And so, and so, so his name is Jason. So he, he, he had drowned, Jason had it with another friend of his, uh, and my, my, they, they had, he'd probably been, my sister-in-law found him in the swimming pool, and he was face down floating in the water, and he was drowned, dead. And uh, she told me later, she said, he was probably being in there 20 minutes. She figured because her daughter came down and tried to get her, but she didn't, she put, pushed her away and said, she's talked to spy on the phone. She says, he's probably in there 20 minutes dead. And she got him out. She called me up on the phone. Me and Kathy was in Metro North Mall, and she called me up on the phone, and, and she said, and they were in the ambulance going to the hospital in Chillicothe. And so, so uh, she told me that she didn't know if they were dead or alive, but she did get him breathing with CPR. I mean, is that what it's called, CPR? Yeah. So, so she did get him breathing with CPR, but their lungs are still full of water. And so anyhow, so she told me. And she didn't know if they were alive or dead, and they were on the way to the hospital. And, and I looked over at Kathy, and this just, just throws up in me. She said, she said, I think they were dead for 20 minutes. And I, and I looked over at Kathy, and I said, I think we, I said, we may have to raise those boys from the dead. I told you that, right? And it was just the Holy Ghost came up on you. And so anyhow, so we headed to go to Chillicothe, and then we got a call Back to said they were life lighting them to Children's Mercy Hospital. So we went, turned around and went to Children's Mercy Hospital. We got there, and they, the, about a few minutes after we got there, the helicopter came, flew, came, came down in. And they had them on a respirator thing, breathing for them and stuff. And so then they didn't lay by going to see him for a while. It was about 9 o'clock before I actually got in to see him. But uh, was, this was about like 5 o'clock when they got in. But I would. They would just let two people in at a time, and they let they let, her, let her in. And when she got out, she came out and she said, "They told us that he probably wouldn't live, but if he did, he'd be brain dead the rest of his life." That's what she said. And so, and so I just stood there, and we I just you know there's that story about the woman with an issue. There's a story about the Shunammite woman whose son had died, and but she had a promise from God. That she'd have that son for an heir. Yes. And so so the Shunammite woman, she went out, the son died in her lap, and then she went out to her husband in the fields, and her husband said, Is everything okay? And she said, Everything's okay. And then she went to the man of God. She went and chased the man of God. And the man of God, Elisha the prophet, he saw her far off, far, far off and he sent his servant Gehazi out to talk to her. He said, he told Gehazi, ask her if everything is okay with her. If everything is okay with her husband, if everything is okay with the son, and she said, "All is well." And so I, so I just stood there. I told that story, and I just stood there. I had everybody around. Now the other boy who who was also drowned, uh, his mother was a nurse, so she said, "I know how bad this is. It's really bad." And so, so we stood and hold hands, and we just together we said, "All is well. All is well." And so I went in with my father. I went in with my, I went in with actually uh, her sister, Rhonda's sister. And she said to me, she said, we were around and there was a nurse standing there and everything, every time we were talking, the, he, Jason was laying there like he was dead. And you could hear all the water gurgling in some, his lungs were still full of water. You'd hear him gurgling every time the water breathed in and out. And, and, I, st and I stood there and, and his, his, Rhonda's sister, she said, doesn't the Bible say something like if two will agree in prayer for anything, they ask my father which is him. And I said, now she's not living for God. I said, yeah, the Bible says that. And I said, well, let's just agree together right now. So we agreed together. And I just, and as we agreed together, I just felt like telling him his lungs to be clear in the name of Jesus. I spoke to his lungs that be clear in the name of Jesus. And so then, then I, we went back out and I got my dad because they only had two people at a time. So I got my father, and he came in there with me. And, and you can actually feel the gurgling in his lungs. So I put, I, I put my hands on his chest, and I couldn't feel any gurgling anymore. So I, I said, Dad, feel his chest, and he couldn't feel any gurgling anymore. And this, this nurse is standing there, said, he may not even be here. He may not even be here. She kept telling us that over and over. 
He may not even be here. And this rose up in me to command him to open his eyes in the name of Jesus. So I said, Jason, I said, in the name of Jesus, open your eyes. And when I said that the first time, his eyes just fluttered a little bit. And then I just said more boldly, and the nurse was hearing me say this. I said more boldly, Jason, I command you in the name of Jesus, open your eyes. And when I did, his eyes popped wide open, and he was totally healed by the power of God. And the nurse said, he's here, he's here, he's here. And that night, both Jason and the other boy was totally healed by the power of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Both of them were. That's right. Both of them were. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, so like I, I like went back and I said, I said, my work's done. We're going home. So. And they're not brain dead. <laughs> they're not brain dead, no. Jason's actually out giving that testimony all over the country. And I, I saw a testimony that he did. He said the un his uncle, the pastor, in the name of Jesus, told him that he said he the he said, when he was supposed to be awake, he said, but they, he, he said in the name of Jesus, and, and he gives that testimony. So I think that's cool. Amen. He, was only, he was only like four years old when that oh, happened. Wow. He was four or five years old when that happened. Nice. Now he's like an old guy. He's like 18 or 19 years old. <laughs> Glory to God. But God, you see, it, it wasn't me. It was the Holy Ghost. Yes. You see, he told me to say that. So I did that. It wasn't because I did anything. Jesus said, it's not me that does the works. It's the Father that doeth the work. Yes. So even Jesus just did what God yes. told him to do. We just need to learn to do what God tells us to do. And God will do the works. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God's good. God's mine. Yes. God's worthy. Glory to God. Praise you, Father. That's my message. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.